Greetings, brothers and sisters. This is another Hollywood Celebrities bonus whole video. <laughs> On my other every other day, um, my last video was about Taylor Swift. I got to remove this too down here because I had to upload it a second time because of the copyright. But anyways, um, just briefly, I want to touch on this subject. It seems like it's going to die out until this weekend. People are getting like bummed out about it, football fans, and I got a lot of comments about this. <laughs> Comparison, this is a meme that's been around for a while. But people were saying that uh, Napoleon Dynamite is a better dancer. Another person said, uh, it just reminded them to vote for Pedro, which I really didn't remember the reference. I just saw this video for the this movie for the first time like two years ago. My wife and I watched it. And it's a weird movie. And there's funny parts. So we definitely laughed uh, you know, more than once. And it just has a lot of memes to it. Like, there's so many memes that have been generated. And it's great that this comparison has taken place, right? So the NFL had to defend its actions of constantly focusing on Taylor Swift here. So here's, here she is with Brittany Holmes, um, who does not appear to be very pleased that Taylor Swift is getting all this attention. The Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey news has been a pop cultural moment we've leaned into in real time as it's an intersection of sports and entertainment. And okay, so that was um, the NFL's responding here. We've seen an incredible amount of positivity. But here is um, Travis Kelsey, and I haven't really mentioned the porn stash <laughs> because those are always great. I think it's fun when they show uh, who all is at the game, you know? I think... Uh... I think it brings a little bit more to the atmosphere, brings a little bit more to, to what you're watching. Yeah, it doesn't. It brings nothing. Um, but at the same time, I think... Uh, they're overdoing it. They're, they're overdoing it a little bit, for sure, especially my situation. Like bass. It's excessive. This is his brother. Um, they're overdoing it, but this is exactly what they want. Both these guys love attention. This guy plays center, a very, you know, not um, such a popular position in terms of Centers aren't considered skill players like wide receivers and quarterbacks. Occasionally you have a cornerback or some defensive player that, you know, gets some uh, crossover love and, you know, someone like Deion Sanders or, you know, some of these other players, right? Uh, but both the Kelsey brothers, this one and both that, that one and the porn stash one are um, very much into publicity, right? They love this. They love publicity. It's the part of their DNA, and they, you know, they have this podcast and are doing these other things. Uh, and so, you know, this guy has long wanted more, um, you know, more, more fame outside of football, and he's been working at it. And this is, you know, part of that. It's just so fake and just so sucky. And the NFL making a big deal of it. They just, it's way too much. I mean, it shouldn't even be there at all. But whatever, you know, they have to market, they have to, they want to expand their fan base to Swifties, whatever they're doing here, I don't know. But, you know, it's just, it's bad. Like, it's embarrassing. Speaking of embarrassing, um, one of my viewers just sent me this. And I don't know if this woman is a designer, it's a, one of these training spaces TV shows. But there was, um, I think, one, two uh, different couples designed... Uh, living rooms for the other couple so somebody else designed their living room and she is not happy about it wow well i really like the wainscoting you do well, i really do it's different neither one is happy and the furniture needed slip covers yeah that's denim the big question is, what do you think about the fireplace? You guys are going to be fixing that in a little bit. If you're going to be fixing it, they put in a fireplace here. So, um... Yeah, well, I just see a lot of firewood. <laughs> this guy's lazy. So, um... <laughs> this is the big reveal. Disappointed. Yeah. Well, I'm glad. She 
Just gotta go leave the room. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Boy, she's not happy. She's really not happy. <laughs> Is there anything... She's crying. <laughs> she's over there crying. ...that you can see in the room to fix certain elements of it to make it better for the two of you? It's great when other people cry <laughs> over something bad. <laughs> Study finds common cold virus is related to potentially fatal blood clotting disorder. Just going to go through some of these because um, there's so many I have up. I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. Probably, you know, 15, 20 minutes. Common cold can trigger a killer blood clot disorder, scientists discover for the first time. Well, they're just discovering how the common cold is related to blood clots. It's weird. What else is related to blood clots? Is there anything else? There might be a, a side effect that creates blood, blood clots. Uh, anything else that, you know, would make this story seem kind of like BS? Olympic gymnast Suni Lee opens up about being diagnosed with incurable kidney disease. We don't know what was wrong. We didn't know what was wrong with me. And here I, I am on the big stage competing. Um, I don't know what's going on here. I guess she's... Uh, She's 20 years old, and she's trying to be on the U.S. Olympic uh, team, but she has a incurable kidney disease, which, um, you know, seems like it's another one of these things. One of my viewers sent me this. Good evening. I've been a supporter of green energy and a keen environmentalist since my 20s. My office is solar powered, so I was mortified to discover that a single lithium mine causes millions of tons of waste every year laced with sulfuric acid and radioactive uranium, polluting the water supply for 300 years. Not to mention the... Un you know, so um, this movement towards uh, battery-operated electricity has its own problems. And we know that there's the physical environmental problems. And I've talked about the problems that electricity poses to one's, not only their physical body, which is, you know, you have a lot of water in your body, electricity is affects it, but then all the things that happen to your, like a, a subtle body, a soul level. And, you know, this is an, an issue that they're not willing to even talk about with 5G and then electric, electricity being in everybody's homes. But it's caused a lot of these neurological disorders. You know, I talked about this neurasthenia that was diagnosed with the tele uh, telegraph workers in the 1920s and 30s or whatever it was. Um, and so there's lots of problems with electricity that, you know, it's not a clean energy like people think. The unacceptable human costs with child labor to mine cobalt. When I researched which solar panel to purchase, I did not for one minute consider it would be made by people trapped in razor wire enclosed labor camps, being exposed to large quantities of quartz dust, which causes silicosis. Please note that the Ethical Consumer Organization report that it is hard to avoid forced labor in the solar panel supply chain. Wind turbines, which last about 20 years, consume a colossal amount of resources and energy to manufacture and install, not to mention the blight and bird kill. They require diesel engines to start them up and then gallons of oil to lubricate, and they can't readily be recycled. So She's going in hard here. <laughs> panels are also extremely difficult to recycle, costing more than the production of the panel, and lithium batteries pose steep challenges too. Add to that the human suffering, which we've all unwittingly been part of just by owning a laptop or mobile phone, which is minimal compared to what's required for an EV or solar farm. These so-called green or ethical solutions aren't solutions at all. Just very good marketing from the $1.5 trillion a year climate change industry. That's $4 billion a day, by the way. Well, she, we don't know if she works for the, the gas companies, but there's technologies out there that they've covered up and future technologies that would be available. But there is free energy. When something's free energy or cheap energy, it creates a, you know, a huge problem for the people who want to make money off of such things there's lots of money in the energy business 
electricity and gas and all the rest of it, nuclear power. And these are, you know, bad energies that are, you know, a part of a, a bigger problem, right? That, you know, it's a money-making uh, scam. And, you know, if things were free or cheap and they were something where they were um, not be you couldn't control them, then these big companies would have an issue. Like they want to control everything, right? Because they, you know, it's a, it's a, an evil business model. So um, this was supposed to be so said by Hippocrates, the guy, you know, the Hippocratic Oath. Before you heal someone, ask him if he's willing to give up the things that make him sick. And, you know, the answer for most people is no, right? <laughs> and that's why our civilization's collapsing. I'm going to come back to this at the end. Kevin Spacey rushed to the hospital after a tart attack scare. So there was this test that happened the other day. I'm not sure if this was about that. Um, this was, well, I guess this was fairly recent. And somebody sent me this. <laughs> Sorry, Seth, but let me tell you this. Yeah, yeah. We've got whistleblowers, including a FEMA one, who said, look, uh, they've already done this test in other countries. I was there. You can't opt out. You turn your device off. It doesn't matter. It's still going to go off. Incredible. Some people had them in Faraday cages. Um, and they still went off. What does that mean? Well, a Faraday cage blocks out microwave signals, but it doesn't block out all the signals. So what that means is that this is a very broad spectrum of signals that is being sent, and it makes sense. If you've got a 2G phone, you've got a 5G phone, those are different frequencies. Okay, so um, I didn't receive this message. My wife didn't either. Uh, but it's interesting that they said that it would, it wouldn't, a Faraday cage wouldn't work. You know, Faraday cages are supposed to, you know, save your, uh, save your whatever from an EMP type situation, solar flare or something like that. And other things that might uh, short out our electrical grid and Faraday cages help to ground all that uh, negative, uh, elect you know, some sort of electri electricity burst uh, from your, you know, from whatever you're doing. It's, it's also supposed to keep you from being able to be spied on and things like that. Inside the Faraday cage, there's supposed to be no signals. So the belief is that it will be private, whatever you're doing there. But apparently that isn't true. Uh, I didn't get this message, so I don't know what happened with it. Hiking, going to scenic locations, uh, getting exercise, those are all positive things. But these mountains that are climbed, Everest being the worst one. And, you know, it's... um. It's just such an ego thing because it's really dangerous, really hostile conditions. You're way above the tree line. You really can't see. I mean, there's nicer places at the Himalayan mountains, many of them. There's nicer areas, all these things. But people say, oh, I climbed Mount Everest. It's like something you can, you know, I went to the moon, you know, whatever. But, you know, <laughs> it's not a real thing. It's not a real accomplishment. I mean, I guess it's hard and you've endured some things, but it's not a worthy goal. It's not a, you know, an actual accomplishment other than it's a hard thing to do and people think it's important. It's a Facebook thing, right? It's a, hey, I here I am, look at me, I'm here, you know, whatever. He did it, you know. <laughs> lots of people die, lots of people lose body parts, fingers, toes, noses, things like that from frostbite and, you know. And our, it takes a chunk of your life force. So they're stupid. And they're so desperate. They have these base camps and the places are polluted. So it's just, you know, like it's unnecessary. So going back to this um, quote from Hippocratic Oath, uh, Hippocrates, I guess it was. Um, you know, uh, this is more and more the problem with people not wanting to give up what they know is making them sick. Like most people they have issues and until they get like lung cancer, they won't stop smoking. Maybe even not that. And maybe even not then. I mean, it's happening more and more, but people just refuse to give up what's well, causing them to be sick. And so there's no sense in, and this could be, you know, not just a physical thing, but a spiritual level or whatever else. I mean, it's, you know, it's always been a problem for people giving up the things that are bad for them. And the things that are causing them problems. But now it's just a lot worse. Like it's, you can see it. People I don't even want to discuss 
you can't even bring up the things that are bothering them. You know, the things that are causing them a problem without them getting butthurt and being defensive about it. But anyways, that's enough for today. Only spirituality will save this world. It's Paramount, definitely born for the apocalypse. In the ascension, everyone have a blessed day and be grateful.